All right, so books to read, books to listen to, maybe even podcasts. These are all gonna be things that are really important in your journey of training your mind and then ultimately training your body. So when I look at books, I'm looking at books that are going to rewire my mind to think in a different way than how I might have currently been thinking in the past. You'll hear a lot of people say you're the culmination or the sum of the people that you spend the most time around, like usually the five people you spend the most time around. And so you might not have an environment that is going to facilitate you reaching your goals. So what do you do? You find it in books, you find it in podcasts, maybe YouTube videos. So I wanted to share some of my favorite books that helped elevate me mentally so that I could go out and achieve greater things with my body, with my business, with whatever goal that I'm setting for myself. And I've got a few more on Audible that I'll talk about, but these are some of the ones I just pulled off my shelf right now. Essentialism by Greg McKeown is essential. And there's another book that's really good that's also called The One Thing. But what this book and what they both talk about is you really gotta focus in on what is that one thing, what is essential for you to work on to reach your goals and let everything else fall to the wayside. We get so distracted, we get caught up in busy work, we get caught up in things that aren't helping us achieve our goals. So we almost gotta be a subtractor. We gotta be subtracting and getting rid of things so that we can focus on whatever that one thing is. Because if you're going in 10 different directions with your time, you're really going nowhere. You need one direction that you're going so that you can achieve that one thing that you're really focused on. Another one that I really like, a uh, really good author, Stephen Pressfield, Turning Pro. This one for me was one that really hit home because he talks a lot about resistance. And whatever goal you have, you're gonna have resistance. And it's very easy to pull back and go into what he calls uh, the addiction mode, where you, you numb yourself with things that make you feel good and you don't turn pro because as soon as you run into that resistance, you fall back into that thing that allows you to kind of numb or yeah, basically numb whatever pain that you're feeling and th that is preventing you from getting to that higher level. And so turning pro gives you some tools so that you can say, all right, I'm going to break through that resistance and become what it is that I know I'm possible of becoming or of doing. And for a lot of you, that's going to be body achievement, performance goals, whatever it is. And so getting beyond those things that have held you back, this book is gonna be what helps you do that. Um, Harvard Business Review, emotional intelligence, things like self-awareness, how to interact with people are some of the most important skills that you can have, especially when you're doing things like meditation, doing things like journaling, being able to reflect and have that self-awareness of yourself is going to be really important in assessing where you're at and then knowing how to get there, uh, whether that's working with a coach or working with yourself. Some of the other books that I like that I have on Audible, uh, is going to be Fuck Your Feelings, pardon the language, but Ryan Muncy does a really good job of detailing not only how the brain works, but how we can really hack a lot of things that the body does in order to allow us to move beyond our emotional states into rational states and get a lot more out of our performance, a lot more out of our lives, a lot more from a nutritional standpoint. It's really getting out of, oh, I feel like I wanna have cookies and more, all right, what are some systems, what are some practices that I can do that allows me to think from a more conscious, rational brain to allow me to go and be better. A couple other books that I really love is Atomic Habits by James Clear. It's a short book, but it's going to break down how you can really instill habits, which is the foundation of really changing anything that you want to change in life. Again, whether that's your body, your mind. So that book by James Clear, Atomic Habits, is a really good one at helping you create, build, sustain and maintain those habits that you need to change. And then last but not least, The Act, the Alchemist by Paulo Coelho is just an amazing story of a journey of a boy and really just, it mirrors so many things in life and there's a reason it's one of the most sold books uh, of all time.